I hope that you're all having a beautiful day. I'm excited today because we're going to be opening up a Disney Lorcana booster box for the second set, Rise of the Floodborne. I picked this box up from the Pokeballers for a fantastic deal, $150 pre-order, which is way below the TCG player market price. So thank you always to the Pokeballers for hooking up the local players with some fantastic deals. And now we're going to break the seal on this box. If you are picking up one of these boxes, make sure you look for the pull tab. It's not going to have the cla the plastic clear wrap that you might expect from like a Pokemon booster box, but there should be that pull tab on the bottom. Maybe if you're more familiar with the Japanese booster boxes for Pokemon, that might be familiar. Either way, let us take a look. We've got Raya, the Queen of Hearts, and the Beast on the front cover here. Let me know what cards are you looking for in your decks if you are a player of Lorcana. What cards are you most excited? What archetypes are you going to be playing out of here? We've got Merlin, Squirrel. Every pack is going to have one foil card at the back. Felicia, Always Hungry. Queen of Hearts, Quick Tempered. Duke, Weaselton, Small Time Crook. Happy Good Nature. So we got Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. Donald Duck, Deep Sea Diver. It's a Floodborne card right there. Or no, is it a Dreamborn? Sorry. We've got Bounce Action. Here's a Floodborne. We got Pinocchio on the run. Hero card. Very cool. And then behind it, Topi. Very fun. Another one of the Seven Dwarves. And then this looks like it's going to be a rare card for Mrs. Judson, the Housekeeper. And then this is going to be, I think... Is this our foil? No, I think this is not. This is a super rare, though, for Dr. Facilier, the fortune teller. Pretty cool card there. Oh, wow. Quest for three lore. He's got evasive. Seven cost? Interesting. Let me know if this is a card that you're trying to add to your deck. And then behind it, we got Bell, the bookworm, for our first foil card. Very nice. Let me know if you are a fan of the bell. And then we've got a puzzle card. Every pack is also going to have a puzzle piece, and it forms the mini Deep Sea Diver artwork. So we'll move along into the second pack. For Lorcana, I've been playing the Lemon Lime Aggro, and then I also later switched to an Amber Steel deck. Let me know what color combinations are you been playing, and are you going to be playing with the new Rise of the Floodborne? Enchantress, Unexpected Judge. we got the Popsicle. Painting the Roses Red, Benja, Guardian of the Dragon Gem. That's a cool card. Donald Duck, the Perfect Gentleman. I like that Floodborne card there. Merlin, the Goat. He's transformed into a Goat. And Gaston, the Baritone Bully. I kind of like that. Cinderella, the Stouthearted. That's actually a pretty solid super rare right there. Nice Cinderella Stouthearted. That's a solid card. Behind it, the Namari Legendary. Okay, so the villain from Raya, our first Legendary card of the box. Maybe we will get a second Legendary, but nice to see there. This is one of the cards that can come enchanted. There's 12 different enchanted cards in the set. And then we got Mini, the Deep Sea Diver. So that's a fun foil as well, or Wide-Eyed Diver, I should say. This is the card that the puzzle piece, as you can see here, will form at the end. So nice foil, Mini Mouse wide eye Diver. Now we've got a Beast pack art here. It looks like every row of the booster box has got all three of the pack arts, so very cool. Raya, Beast, and Queen of Hearts, just like we see on the top of the box. What set, or sorry, not set, what movies or Disney characters are your favorite that is included in Rise of the Floodborne? I think personally, I really like the Winnie the Pooh stuff grumpy but i'm these seven dwarves are really really potentially changing my mind oh hercules okay the hercules is sweet i would love to see an awesome hercules cards that's one of my favorite disney movies binding contract caterpillar calm and collected eradigan a very large mouse Kronk! Oh, The Emperor's New Groove. That's another great movie as well. And then our foil, I believe, James the Role Model from Princess and the Frog, I do believe. Very nice James foil card there. And I swear, have we gotten three of the same puzzle piece we have? Let's see if we can complete this puzzle by the end of it. I hope we can. I'm sure we'll be able to. Queen of Hearts pack coming up next. Let's see what we're going to get inside. Maybe another Legendary. What is the foil going to be? I like that the foil can be any potential card in the set. I think that's really fun. I'm stuck. I like that card. Go the distance. Radigan? 
Basil of Baker Street, Snow White lost in the forest, Jafar, the Royal Vizier, last stand. Minnie Mouse, the stylish surfer. Maybe she'll be surfing along with Stitch from the first set. Lawrence, the jealous manservant. That's a fun, fun one. Pack Tactics, super rare for Lady Tremaine. That's another nice one. I'm going to be honest, before I open this up, I had to look up who is Lady Tremaine, the villain from Cinderella. And then Merlin, Shapeshifter, Rare, Foil. That's another fun foil card there. I like that one. And hey, we got the mini face. So we are collecting more of the puzzle. We're putting it together. Raya pack artwork is up next. We've got another I'm Stuck. Tigger, one of a kind. I like that Tigger card. That's a fun artwork. Donald Duck, the Sleepwalker. Owl, Logical Lecturer, Hold Still Action Card, Cinderella Knight in Training. I wonder, does this? Yes, the Cinderella Stout Hearted does have a shift. So you could play the Cinderella for two and then shift on for five, the Stout Hearted. Let me know if that's a combo that you're going to be working into some of your decks. Judy Hops, I think this is from Zootopia. Let me know if I'm correct on that. Raya, so there we got the Raya card. Jafar the Dreadnought. Cinderella Ballroom Sensation. Oh man, if we could pull the Enchanted for Cinderella Ballroom Sensation, that would be really cool. I think that's one of the better looking Enchanteds in this set. Perplexing Signposts. And then we've got Merlin as a squirrel. So last pack was Merlin the Shapeshifter and then he shapeshifted into a squirrel in this pack. That is a very fun one. And it looks like, I wonder if every row is going to have the same puzzle piece and if you are opening up any Lorcana uh, booster boxes let me know if that is a trend that you see in your booster box as well next pack we've got another Merlin the crab the shapeshifters going ham on us Baloo the fun loving bear I'm glad there's a Baloo card there's a sheer Khan enchanted alt art card I kind of wish there was a Baloo but maybe for next one nothing to hide Eudora Hercules, the Hercules Enchanted is very sick as well. Sardine Can, Mother Gothel, the Withered and Wicked, the Prince never gives up. Minnie Mouse, the Wide-Eyed Diver, Queen of Hearts, Capricious Monarch, and a Flynn Rider, the Confident Vagabond. I love a good fan club, but they can at least try to get the nose right. <laughs> That's a fun description for that card. And the puzzle piece, again, same one, so all three in that row were the uh, the face of many. Let's see what the next row is going to have in store for us. We're going to go with the Raya pack. Raya is actually one of the Disney movies that I have not personally seen, so I was a little surprised to see it as one of the flagship, if not the, the flagship character of the box. If you watched the Raya movie, let me know if you enjoyed it, if you think it's one that I should check out. Winnie the Pooh, Honey Wizard. I really like this card. Kind of wish that this is one of the ones that got enchanted. I think this would have been a sick alt art, full art. Winnie the Pooh, the Honey Wizard. Felicia, Always Hungry. Queen of Arts, Quick Tempered. We've got James Role Model, Eudora, Last Cannon. Bucky, oh, that reminds me of my dog was named Buck. Bashville, Hopeful Romantic, another one of the Seven Dwarfs. Cruella DeVille, the Perfectly Wicked. Gruesome and Grim Action Song. Cobra Bubbles, just a social worker. <laughs> the Queen, Regal Monarch, and I think that's our foil for this one. It is the Queen, so nice card there. Nice artwork for the Queen and a new part of the puzzle piece. We are assembling it. Let's see if the trend will continue. Is this going to be the left leg of Mini on this next pack here? Coming right up. Cusco! Oh, what he's transformed into the, uh, is it a llama or alpaca? What did you call me? To be honest, I don't know what that one's from. Improvise, a nice Mulan car there. Cruella de Vil, the fashionable cruiser, dream, dreamborn villain there. Piglet, very small animal. Another Winnie the Pooh card. The Beast, Forbidding Recluse. That's a pretty cool Beast card. Daisy Duck, Secret Agent Launch. Fairy Godmother. Behind it, Flynn Rider, his own biggest fan. That's actually that's a ton of that's a ton of lore he can quest for. Wow, shift out for two. One last big score. This character gets a minus one lore for each card in your opponent's hands. Ah, uh, I see. That balances it out more. Okay, okay, okay. Basil, Great Mouse Detective, Super Rare, 
Bloodborne card there. And then behind it, is this going to be our foil? It is! So basil, double basil right there. We're cooking some Italian food. We got the perceptive investigator and we got the great mouse detective. So he could shift right over this perceptive uh, investigator card if we so wanted to. Let me know if that's a combo that you're going to be running in one of your decks. Let's see. There's always a chance. If you use shift to play this character, you may draw two cards when he enters into play. That's pretty cool. Draw power is, in my opinion, very, very strong in this game. So it's nice to see Basil with some draw power there. He's got a good stat line, the three, four. I know when you shift him, he doesn't, his, his stats would stay the same, but I think that's balanced out by the fact that you get to draw two cards. So that's pretty cool. Moving on into the next pack. We've got Fairy Godmother. What did you call me? Gaston, the scream, the scheming suitor, not screaming. Rabbit, the reluctant host. Sneezy, very allerg uh, allergic. Magic broom, industrial model. Underworld imp, pain. Caterpillar, calm and collected. Last stand, action. Lumere, hot-headed candelabra. Behind it, Tiana, the celebrating princess. That's a cool super rare. Very nice. And then behind it, we got Felicia, always hungry. Hey, a one-cost card that's inkable. I feel like usually those are pretty good. Usually one-cost inkable cards are pretty solid. And, ooh, interesting. So reckless, but I think that's okay because you're probably going to be wanting to play this card for one for one uh, resource and then trade into something that's got three HP. That probably would make the most sense. So for red, that seems like something that could be good for board control. And for one resource, you could potentially take out or remove a card that your opponent spent two or three resources to play. So that's pretty neat. I think that could be a good card. Jiminy Cricket. Bound. Precocious Entrepreneur. I gotta be honest, I have no idea. Is this is this a character from Raya? Is that why I don't recognize it? Verana, Fang Chief, Cruella DeVille, the fashionable cruiser. Sleepy, he's nodding off. Prince Naveen. So we gotta pull something in this pack that's gonna wake Sleepy up. Binding contract. Minnie Mouse, Lawrence, Strength of a Raging Fire. That's a pretty cool card. I like that one. Little John, I like that one as well. And then behind it, Nick Wild, the wily fox, the main character from Zootopia. So pretty cool there. We'll sell some popsicles on the foil card. And we've got another piece of the puzzle. Each row is assembling another piece. I think we're getting close to the halfway point of the box. Do you think this box is going to have an enchanted Winnie the Pooh, Honey, Wizard, Minnie Mouse, Zipping Around, Hypnotize, The Knock, Water Spirit. That's a cool one. Snow White Lost in the Forest, Let the Storm Rage On, Zero to Hero, Show Me the Hercules Enchanted, The Most Diabolical Scheme. Pick a fight. Rick at Ralph there busting through. Raya, Leader of Heart. It's a cool another Raya card. Looks like you could use this one to potentially shift over to the other Raya that we pulled before. Two super rares. Two super rares, one pack. That's pretty cool. Peter Pan Shadow now. It's actually a pretty sweet artwork. And then behind it, we got the mouse armor. I actually, that's a fun one. It's a Mickey Mouse armor there. Very cute. And then behind it, the Minnie Mouse, the wide-eyed diver. diver. All right, I think this is the last pack in the first half. We're entering into the 50% zone. Can we get more cool stuff? Fidget, Flynn Rider, Jasmine, Heir of Agraba, Happy, the good-natured Seven Dwarf, Beast, Yizma, without Beauty Sweep. Oh my god, that's, that's a scary looking card. Queen of Hearts, Sensing Weakness, Robin Hood, the capable fighter, falling down the rabbit hole. Down, down, down she went, floating in a swirl of ink. How curious. A legendary for Snow White! Yo, that's a great hit! Legendary Snow White. I was talking about this card before we opened up the box. This card seems really good. You can shift it on for four, it quests for two lore, and then it's got an ability whenever this character quests, you can return a character card from your discard to your hand. That is a really, really good effect. I like that a lot. Super cool card. Glad we could pull this one. Very sick. And then a last cannon as our foil card, but not our last pack. That was just the last of the first half. We said we want to pull more cool, cool cards. We got now the Snow White Legendary. Can we get a Snow White Enchanted? That would be pretty sick. Let's see if we can make it happen. 
Either way, very happy with that pull. Maybe we could get a foil legendary? That would be cool as well, too. Let's get greedy, everyone. Jiminy Cricket. Mulan, soldier in training. I like this Mulan artwork a lot. There's sleeves of this and a deck box. I was actually thinking about picking those up because they're a pretty cool combo. Donald Duck, Basil, hold still. Donald Duck, the deep sea diver to go with the mini. Cheshire Cat, always grinning. Blue Fairy, Snow White. So maybe this is the Snow White card that you'd play first and then you'd shift the other one onto it. And you pay one less resource to play seven dwarf characters. That's pretty fun. You play like a whole snow, does the deck work like Snow White and the seven, seven dwarfs? So that could be a fun deck to try. Honest, Honest John, not that honest. <laughs> it's a fun one. King Louie, the jungle VIP. That's a fun one. I like that one a lot. Jungle VIP for King Louie on the super rare. And then Fang Crossbow on the foil. Careful aim and stay back. Let me know if this is a card that you're going to be playing in one of your decks. The Fang Crossbow. All right, we got Elsa. I think this is our first Elsa card of the box. Lady Tremaine, Varana, Jasmine, Mulan. Ooh, I like this Mulan card as well. Another cool Mulan artwork. Last Cannon. Ring the bell. Hee hee. Hey, a nice hee hee there. Rapunzel, the gifted artist. Rapunzel, very strong card from the first set. Grand Duke, advisor to the king. Pinocchio, star attraction. And a, a foil super rare. Foiled Dr. Vassilier. Very cool card there. I think that's probably our best foil that we've pulled so far. Let's see if we can get a foil legendary in this box as well. If not an enchanted. I'd rather have an enchanted, but let's see. Raya pack artwork is up next. Merlin, the crab. Go the distance. Radigan. Gumbo pot. The queen, regal monarch. Tiana, diligent waitress. Bucky. Yzma, Cruella de Vil, Merlin as a rabbit now, Scar the Vicious Cheater, oh man, getting a lot of legendaries, that's a cool one, Scar Vicious Cheater, pretty, pretty cool card there, and then behind the Scar, Queen of Hearts, Quick Tempered Foil card, man, that, car, that Scar card is sweet, so I think we've gotten, what is that, three legendaries now, the Scar, the Snow White, and what was the other one that we pulled? The Namari. The Namari, the Scar, and the Snow White. So far, three legendaries in the box. Chip the Teacup. Baloo. Improvise. The Knock. Rapunzel. The Beast. Bashville. Queen of Hearts. Robin Hood. Gaston! Intellectual Powerhouse! It's a fun card as well. I like this one. Intellectual Powerhouse Gaston. The Grand Pabby. The oldest and the wisest. And Duke Weaselton foil. That's a fun artwork. Don't know if that's a good card or not, but it's a fun artwork. All right. I think we've got six, seven, eight packs left. These are the last eight packs. The gym leaders, if you will. If you remember, if you're familiar with Pokemon. Chip the Teacup. Mulan, soldier in training. Arthur, trained swordsman. I like that art with Arthur artwork. Basil of Baker Street, Rapunzel, Sunshine, charging into action there, Fang Crossbow, Card Soldiers, Mouse Armor, Haram Flavor Sham, Mickey Mouse, a friendly face, super rare, I think that's a solid one, and Grumpy, Bad Tempered on the foil card, <gasps> a little grumpy there, we're not feeling grumpy about this box, but let's keep it going, let's see some more. Let me know in the comments if you're enjoying the video. What card was your favorite that you've seen pulled? Elsa, gloves off. Tigger, one of a kind. Hypnotize. Rabbit, reluctant host. Piglet, very small animal. Tiana, four dozen eggs. Sword in the stone. Pacha, village leader. Hercules, divine hero. I like that Hercules card. That's a really cool one. Bibbidi bobbidi boo and Croque Mallet. I think I'm mispronouncing that. Is it just Croque Mallet? I don't know. Let me in the comments if I butchered it or not, but it's kind of a kind of a fun artwork there. Alice. Playing a little. Oh my gosh. I'm trying to. Is, is the game Polo? I'm, I'm trying to think of what the name, name of the game is. 
not it's obviously not golf but the name of the game where you hit it with the with the with the mallet let me know in the comments if you know what game i'm talking about my mind just keeps going to bocce ball but i know it's not bocce ball you throw the bocce balls you don't hit the bocce balls merlin as a squirrel bound precocious and entrepreneur arthur the trained swordsman owl the logical lecturer sneezy very allergic prince naveen tiana cogsworth talking clock Doc, leader of the seven dwarfs. I think this is the one that we were missing this one. We did not have this. I think this is our first pull of the doc. Christopher Robin. I like this Christopher Robin card a lot. That I like this Christopher. I wasn't expecting that. That's a cool one. Super rare for the queen. Disguised peddler. And then behind it, we've got a foil for Peter Pan's dagger. And then we got another piece of the puzzle. We'll throw that into the super rare pile. Six packs, no, five packs to go. The last five, we're almost down to the Elite Four. What will be in store for this? Shout out to Pokey Surge. Sheesh! Let's see if lucky number five packs left can bring us some heat. Peter Pan's Dagger, Enchantress, Unexpected Judge, Duke, Duke Weselton, Mulan Free Spirit, Last Cannon, Cheshire Cat, Four Dozen Eggs. Snow White, Teeth, and Ambitious, Mulan Reflecting. I like this Mulan card. That's another nice Mulan card. Flynn Rider, his own biggest fan foil card there. And then the Diver. All right, this is it, everyone. Drum roll. Elite Four is in store. What is it going to bring for us? Dr. Facilier is the Elite Four going to have the Enchanted Panic. James, Queen, Benja, Bell, Bookworm, Nick Wilde, Pinocchio, Talkative Puppet, Fairy Godmother, Legendary, Sheer Khan. I'm skipping cards, but we skipped right into a Legendary for Fairy Godmother. That's pretty sweet. So I think that's our fourth Legendary from the box. Pretty sweet, pretty sweet. And then a Foil Beast, Forbidding Recluse behind it. Not a bad pack there, if I do say so myself. Beast Foil and the Fairy Godmother Legendary. Three cards left from the box. Or three packs left, I should say. Three packs left. What are we going to get? Another Fairy Godmother. Pure Heart this time. Lady Tremaine. Gaston. Scheming Surfer. Or er, Scheming Suitor. Gumbo Pot. Sleepy nodding off. Magic Broom. Let's wake you up, Sleepy. Madame Mim. Queen of Hearts. Lee Shang, Archer Instructor, Maurice's Workshop, Merlin Shapeshifter, and the Card Soldiers. Two packs left to go. Final two packs. We'll go left side, and then we'll finish with the Beast on the right side. Last two packs. Can we get some magic? Legend of the Sword and the Stone. Raya. Ray. Popsicle, Painting the Roses Red, Benja, Blue Fairy, Sword in the Stone, Pacha, The Huntsman, Reluctant Enforcer, Yizma, Scary Beyond All Reason, Super Rare, and a Pinocchio foil card. Fun to see the Pinocchio foil card there. His nose is growing into a little tree, it looks like there. And then Minnie Mouse, Wide-Eyed Diver. Let's see if we can get some last pack magic can we do it? Final pack of the box. Crook Mallet, Peter Pan's Dagger, Flynn Rider, Basil, Grumpy, Jafar Royal Vizier, Nana the Dueling, or the Darling Family Pet, You Can Fly Action, Eli LaBeouf, Big Daddy, The Weight Set, Pete the bad guy! I was talking about this card as well before we opened. It also comes in Enchanted, which would be very cool to see. But our final card! The Queen of Hearts. Foil the Capricious Monarch. So I'm going to go do a recap of the box. Put together some of my favorite pulls. This is probably my favorite foil was the Beast Forbidden Recluse. 
I did like the Winnie the Pooh artwork. I thought this one was really fun, as well as the King Louie. Just the fact this is Jungle VIP alone made me really happy. <laughs> Pete Bad Guy was another fun one. Hercules the Divine Hero. Mulan Reflecting. I think these are some of my favorite ones. Christopher Robin, just in terms of just artwork and the feelings that it gave me. But in terms of some of the more valuable cards, I'd say Gaston, Intellectual Powerhouse, Mickey Mouse, Friendly Face, Cinderella, Stouthearted, Namari, The Morning Mist, Legendary. We got four Legendaries. Fairy Godmother was our second, Snow White, third, and fourth, Scar, Vicious Cheater. I would say probably the Scar, best pull overall from the box. I really enjoyed it. I hope you all enjoyed it as well. I'd love to know what cards are you most excited to add to your collection or maybe your deck. What decks and color combinations are you going to be playing for Rise of the F Floodborne? And most importantly, I hope that you all have a beautiful rest of your day. Peace out, everyone. Let's go!